Hello everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to use this application to manage your stocks or inventory for light use cases. When you open the application, you'll see tabs like All Items, New Stocks, Consumption, Purchase, and Report. The home page displays all your items and their current stock levels. By default, this table shows only the current stocks, but you can optionally check these boxes to display additional columns such as Total Purchase, Total Consumption, and Opening Stock. You can easily search through all items using the search bar. There's also an option to export this table in PDF or Excel format. For instance, you can see that I've exported the All Items table in PDF format. In the Report section, you can view all stock ins and stock outs. Again, with the help of checkboxes, you can choose what to display, such as purchases, consumption, or opening stocks. You can also filter the records by date or by product. Similar to the other tables, this one can be exported in PDF or Excel format as well. Now let me show you a demo on how to perform stock ins and stock outs. For example, let's add a new product. Go to the New Stocks tab and add a new product named Vimbar with a quantity of 10. You can enter any remarks if needed. This new product has now been added, and you can see it in the list. You have the option to edit this item using the pencil icon, or you can delete it. Next, let's perform a consumption. Go to the Consumption tab, click on Add New Record, and choose Vimbar with a quantity of 2. In the Consumption section, you have a date field and you can add multiple entries. Let me add one more entry to the Consumption record. Once you hit Submit, the record is created. You can expand the row using the Reveal icon, right arrow to view all the entered products in a detailed tabular format. Here, you can see our two entries for the consumption record. One more thing. When you create a new record, an email is also sent. You can configure this in the script. Let me show you my sent box. Here you can see that the email was sent. Similarly, let's move on to the purchase form and create a new entry. After submitting, you'll see that a new record was created in the purchase form. If we go back to the All Items tab, you can see that our new product, Vimbar, now shows a current stock of 22, total purchases of 4, total consumption of 2, and an opening stock of 20. You can also see this information in the Reports tab under the Consumption, Purchase, and Opening Stock categories. This is how you can easily manage your stock inventory using this web application. If you're liking this video, please subscribe to my channel. It really supports my work. Hit the like button as well. Now let's talk about how you can make this application your own. First, go to the description box and copy the link to the spreadsheet. Then, make a duplicate copy of the spreadsheet.
Next, go to Extensions and choose App Script. This will open the script editor in a new tab. Once the script editor is open, you can edit the email ID so that emails are sent to the correct address and then save your changes. After that, click on the Deploy button and choose New Deployment. Set the deployment type to Web App. In the description, give it a name like Version 1. For the Execute A's section, choose Me. And in the Who Has Access section, choose Only Myself. Then, hit Deploy. You'll be asked to authorize the code. Go ahead and grant the necessary permissions. Once done, you'll receive a web app URL. Open it. and your application is ready to use. That's it. If you need customized version of this application, then please reach out to me using the contact details provided in the description box. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll see you in the next video.